This is EcoFlow's brand new Delta II Max, and it is designed to completely replace those older gasoline-powered generators. Now, it might look like the older models, but everything inside this thing is completely different. Now, they didn't get rid of the good stuff. They've still got a smart display on front. You've got six AC outlets in the back. You've got all the ports you need in the front, including two USB-C, as well as regular USB ports. But this is the first model that can truly replace your portable Honda EU2200i generator. That thing weighs 54 pounds and can only output 1800 watts continuously. The small EcoFlow can output 2400 watts continuously and inside the batteries are 2048 watt hours of runtime and the batteries inside are using lithium iron phosphate technology. They're gonna be safer and give you a much longer life. And this unit like their past models is putting out pure sine wave power, it's clean electricity and you can use it to power things like air conditioners, refrigerators or pretty much any kind of electric tool that you would plug into a regular US outlet. And what makes this model so unusual is it is the fastest charging battery generator on the market today for this amount of power. You can charge it from zero to 100% in just over one hour. But what's the most impressive to me is the power output because it can natively put out 2400 watts of electricity. That's almost 40% more than the Honda EU2200 gas generator. That means this small battery that you could pretty much put anywhere can power tools that the Honda couldn't even run. They didn't get rid of the good parts of the old models. It uses the same design. You've got the two carrying handles, making it easy to bring this thing pretty much anywhere. But most importantly, what they did change is the expansion. The original Delta couldn't really have anything added to it. The Delta II Max now has the side expansion ports. These allow you to connect to two additional batteries. That can give you 2000 watt hours of runtime per battery. And if you use other EcoFlow products, these ports can be connected to things like their Glacier portable refrigerator and possibly other devices in the future. They've also updated the app quite a bit. Now when you connect to your device, it just takes seconds. In fact, as soon as you turn the app on, it senses the device is nearby and you can now connect to it using either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So if you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't ever have to use Wi-Fi. The only benefit of the internet is you can monitor your device remotely and you can do things like firmware updates now typically I use my battery units by plugging them into the wall so that fast charging is gonna be awesome. But if you're somebody that uses solar panels, you're gonna be thrilled because they now added two solar input ports. That means that the Delta II Max can take up to 1000 watts of solar input. That means if you were using just solar input to charge it up, you could charge this device from zero to 100% in just a little over two hours. Now they're marketing this as a real replacement for a portable gas generator, so I wanted to do a genuine test to see how well it would work. So down in my field, I've got this pond, and right now in New Hampshire, we are inundated with black flies. Now if you don't know about these things, they're supposed to be good because they only breed in clean water, but they are a royal pain. So one thing I wanted to try to do was aerate this pond a little bit. So I decided instead of using my gas generator, I would take the Delta II Max down, run a water pump, and try to get my sprinkler going just to stir up that water a little bit. It was super nice to not have to listen to a gas engine running. Things really have changed in the power equipment world. A few years back, I never would have been able to run anything for any amount of time, but this pump uses around three, 400 watts of electricity once it's running, and that means I should be able to power it with this battery for about five to six hours. I hadn't actually thought that the app would work properly, but I forget because I'm using Bluetooth for my phone and not able to reach Wi-Fi, I can actually monitor the pump remotely, can also turn it off and on. That is a pretty cool feature, and depending on your application, that may be something you wanna use. If you were using a solar panel or connected one up, I could actually be adding power at the same time I'm using it. The other thing I found out was, I have no idea why the range on this Bluetooth was so good. So my Wi-Fi is off. You can see that I don't have my Wi-Fi symbol on. And we are absolutely still monitoring this because you can see the output changing. And I can probably switch it off. So I'm gonna switch it off. Pumps off. Wow. So can the Delta II Max really replace a gasoline powered generator? Absolutely. This thing has more output and a smaller package and it can be charged a number of different ways. But is it perfect for everyone? Absolutely not. Of course, each situation is gonna be different and some people still aren't ready for these things. But if you decide to get this model, I think you'll be really impressed by the output and the super small size. 
and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.